thank you for being part of this ministry. As you know, we provide all of our content free of charge, but there are costs involved. So if you've never given before, please consider a donation to help us plan and continue developing content for you and those you love. And today, your gift will go twice as far to help us meet our June challenge goal. So if this content is a blessing to you, please consider a generous donation at backtothebible.org. That's backtothebible.org. Thank you. Now, let's win the day. Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will discuss how Jesus is the resurrection and the life. My wife wears a necklace that has a small mustard seed in glass next to a large mountain. It's a pretty piece, but it's really full of meaning. Now, you probably know that Jesus said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. But what was his point? No problem is ever too big that God won't help you persevere through it. We all face challenging and seemingly impossible circumstances. But those circumstances are never too big for God. Don't believe me? Let's see how the story of Jesus and Lazarus ends in John chapter 11, beginning in verse 17. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Jesus has received word of Lazarus' illness, but this happened four days earlier. Well, how do we know that? Well, Jesus received word that Lazarus was ill and nearing death. They were about one day away from Bethany at that time. Well, we know that they stayed two more days and then left traveling one day to come to the tomb of Lazarus. He waited this long so that he and God would be glorified. That's what it says in verse 4. But really, why four days? Was that so important? Well, according to Jewish tradition, the soul hovered around the body for three days and then departed for eternity. So by day four, there simply was no hope for resurrection. You see, that's why this miracle is so incredibly powerful, to display Jesus' authority and power. So Jesus tells Martha, your brother will rise again. And notice what Martha says, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Now, we haven't seen the resurrection of Lazarus yet in the story, but it is promised. You see, this is a true miracle, especially we consider the beliefs of the Jewish people. But Jesus' words in verse 25 display the true healing that is promised by Jesus. Because Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Many of us are facing seemingly impossible circumstances. It may be illness and creeping death. And wouldn't it be a miracle to have physical healing? Yes, of course that would be a miracle. But remember, in the end, we all die. Even those who were healed by Jesus, they did die. The true healing is the forgiveness of sins. It's the pathway to heaven, 
and eternal life with God. That's the true miracle. That is the healing offered to everyone. If you've never trusted in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I encourage you, do so. Because Jesus said, whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. So today, friend, believe in Jesus. Experience the true healing that's available to you. Now, for those of us who do believe, then I want you to rest in that promise. No matter the impossible problem, there is peace and hope because eternity is fixed. That is the true life. That is true healing. That is what Jesus offers.